really looking good for the US NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore as they need urgent aid as now they're officially stuck in the space. Williams along with Butch Wilmore has been aboard International Space Station since June 2024. The veteran astronauts are aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. The troubled Starliner had reported having issues even before it managed to take off on the 5th of June from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on its inaugural crew test flight. Now the question is, why take such a risk when the designated spacecraft had already reported issues? Why would US do that? Why would Biden do that? Did Biden feel a successful space mission will add brownies to his CV? as USA's next president? Well, it definitely looks bad on Kamala's resume now. Such is life. Tables have turned. Anyway, now looking at the desperate situation, NASA is left with no option but to consider bringing back the stuck astronauts on Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, which is interestingly Boeing Starliner's biggest rival in space science. Or US, otherwise, or US can go to Russia asking for Suez support. Because so is... The Russian spacecraft series is the only one, Russia is the only country in this whole world which has so far been able to carry out manned space operations, take the astronauts to the space and also safely bring them back. Now, I'm not really sure if US would want to request Putin to help them around when presidential elections are around the corner to help them get their astronauts back. So what is US's option? None apart from Musk. I would say as of now, because no magic is going to happen. Because now Russia is not going to be able to US. As, and as Trump's supporter, Musk is definitely not the favorite person of Biden administration. So it is quite a catch-22 situation for the Democrats as of now. And that is why it is very important what is happening in the USA, because what will happen there will also trickle down in the rest of the world. What matters now is, it's a question of morality for the US authorities because what matters now is the life and the safety of Sunita and Barry and now, right now it's a big ethical call the government over there needs to take because according to reports Sunita and Barry which Williams are running against time as they are only left with an oxygen supply of 96 hours and NASA is going to take a call on Saturday that how they are planning to bring these two trapped astronauts back to Earth. Now, giving you a little background of the mission, Wilmore and Williams were only meant to be aboard the International Space Station for little more than a week before heading back to Earth. But when they made it to the orbital outpost a day after the launch, engineers discovered a slew of helium leaks and problems with the craft's propulsion system. Propulsion system as in it was not able to pick it up on it, lift it up on its own, which hampered Starliner's return to Earth. Now, what was to be an eight-day mission has now extended beyond a month and NASA is expected to take an SOS call on the return of the stuck astronauts by this Saturday. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson will appear for a news conference on Saturday with a potential, potential decision on the fate of Boeing Starliner. The Starliner capsule has faced several issues including thruster failures and also helium leaks as I have already mentioned some time back in layman terms thruster failure causes the spacecraft to get underactuated thus needing more superior technology and outside authority to get it going reflecting on this situation indian space research organization's chief s somanath has said that india is going to take notes from this incident and inculcate all necessary precautions before launching the ambitious gaganyaan project which will be India's first human carrying mission to space and four Indian Air Force officers have been chosen to lead the same. As of now, the first manned space flight is expected to take place in 2024. Now, according to going back to NASA, according to Rudy Rudolphy, who is the former commander of US military space systems, a situation might arise if Starliner with malfunctioning thrusters attempts to re-enter at an improper angle. It could cause it to bounce off the Earth's atmosphere and remain in the orbit, meaning leaving it stranded out there in the space orbit because of a faulty alignment. Also, Rodolfi has expressed concerns that there is also a chance that if the spacecraft tries to enter at a steep angle, it could lead to failure of Starliner's heat shield under extreme friction and heat. 
this could result, this will result in spacecraft burning up before it even reaches the Earth's surface, but potentially killing off the two astronauts on board. Now, we, our generation, we have witnessed an incident like this happening back in 2003 when Kalpana Chavla's whole crew, a crew of seven astronauts, was like burnt down to ashes when the space shuttle Columbia broke up on re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven of them, as I said, all seven of them on board. To add to the mounting worries, reports concerning Sunita Williams' medical fitness are also now coming in question. According to reports, the 50-year-old astro, 58-year-old astronaut is facing some problems with her eyesight. Now, these issues that she's facing are typical to issues in the space. This condition arises due to long expose, exposure with microgravity. Microgravity meaning we see those images of those astronauts bouncing up in the air and everything. That only happens because the gravitational pull there, Gurutva Akarshan, space may, it's much lesser than what we have on Earth. So that is called microgravity. Now due to long exposure to microgravity, uh, Sunita Williams' eyesight is also suffering. And this problem is called space flight associated neuroocular syndrome. This eyesight issue affects fluid distribution in the rest of the body that leads to visual disturbances such as blurred vision and changes, even changes in the eye structure. So Mars SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft that is also scheduled for departure in September 2024 this year for some own mission is the only good option for NASA. However, one of the major safety concerns, concerns over here is the incapability of space suits with Crew Dragon. NASA is working on finding a solution to this issue and considering additional SpaceX flight suits, flight suits with the Crew 9 Dragon mission to bring back the stuck astronauts. We only hope that they are soon brought back to the Earth. Here I am wishing Sunita and Barry a very good luck.